Very nice. Hey. Hey there, this is Luke Simons with Salt Strong. Have a very fun report to share with you. This is wintertime fishing with artificial lures. One of the biggest problems we hear from the community is just the, uh, you know some, some issues and inconsistency in, in catching quality fish during the winter periods. And so I set up a trip with one of our community members, Greg Schuler. He's actually a, a very experienced uh, live bait angler and is just now starting to get into artificial lures and the rules were very simple we just had two of them number one no live bait no matter how bad the weather is we obviously planned this trip you know weeks out in advance so no matter how bad the weather was going to be or good or bad it was going to be there was not going to be a single bit of live bait on the boat and number two i had to do all of the pre-trip planning i had to select the spots on where we were going he could not contribute he's from there i've never fished there so we really had to go through the, the scientific method of going out to a to a new area to a foreign territory and, and dissecting exactly where the, the most likely feeding zones are going to be based on the season based on the weather you know based on the tides based on the known conditions and then see what happens right and so that's what we did so greg and i got on a call two days before and, and we just walked through the plan so i went down on the map uh showed you know what the plan was going to be so that he could give a heads up on on what to expect and so that we could record and log and, and lock it in stone on what was going to happen and so we recorded the whole thing and at the very end of this video i'll share with you you know how to access uh that information and, and also as you are watching the the fish catching is i'll put a link down we did switch from from lures you know lure to lure based on the, the spots that we're at so i'll put a, a note on what lure was being used for every catch so that you can uh you can at least see and get some insight on what was happening so let's get started all right so got out here bright and early or really not too early eight o'clock yeah perfect and uh it's really cool and just check out this is a pretty uh, normally a pretty busy boat ramp there's two cars and then uh one these people are taking out so uh, the good news is we won't have much competition right right <laughs> Bad news is probably sort of, none. Yeah, probably none. This but, guy's uh, going offshore, I think. Yeah, they're uh, they're definitely not doing the flats. But yeah, it should be uh, should be uh, fun, worth a try. And yeah. At least the sun's out, so oh, the sun will sure. sun will be out and warm up eventually. So uh -huh. I'm, I'm thinking a, a afternoon bite might be the best. Yeah, right, right. You don't know if until you go. So let's Absolutely. do it. Absolutely. If it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen out there. Yep. Yeah. Hey. Over there, got something. Ah, oh, catfish! <laughs> Boo! All right, only can only go up from there. <laughs> okay, so really not seeing uh, seeing any bait. I uh, just saw like a couple mullet jump, and uh, so we're gonna get out. We're gonna get move out of here and look for some uh, some bird feeding or at least some bait. Last minutes on the water, but uh, yeah, the water's still super low uh, coming in and uh, warming up. It's starting to feel a lot nicer. So hopefully we uh, we find some fish here soon. Yeah, it's fish. That's a good fish. It's a bigger fish here, whatever it is. Hopefully it's not a stinking big old sail cat or something, but it feels like it's got some weight. Oh, a grouper. <laughs> That's a good sized grouper. Yeah. <laughs> I was not expecting that. All right, first decent fish, uh, grouper under dock, pretty cool. Got the gold shrimp. Yeah, if they put a dock light, if a snook light on this dock, I bet you'd be loaded with fish. Be one. Well, because I'm in some structure, that's pretty good ways off. Oh, nice mango snapper. Sweet. Yeah, that's a solid snapper, man. Good snapper there. Yeah. Sweet. Nice. Another snapper. <laughs> These are solid. Nice. Nice, man. Snapper. Oh, got another one. <laughs> Uh, feels like it. 
a little grouper this time. There's a lot of fish down there. That was literally just dragging on the bottom. Solid, very nice. Good stuff. Yeah. That's probably a trout out there. Hit immediately when it hit the water. I can't tell what it is. Might be a snapper. Oh, a little jack. Dragging on the bottom on that one. Ah, oh, catfish. That may that might be a sign it's time to go. Runs out of hit. Aw, oh, Jack. I think it right next to the mangroves. I thought it was going to be a snook or redfish. So, this would be a good spot on a cold, windy day out of the wind. Yeah, I like to get out of the wind. Uh, you can see there's a little bait activity. This is like the first bait we've really seen. Mm -hmm. All of these little points are basically like little oysters. Oh, there we are. Little oysters. Wow, these jacks are all over the place. Look at this. 
Look. Not the heat. Oh. Quick release. Well, I hope you enjoyed that report. I, I counted when I was editing this video, there was a total of 18 fish caught in six different species. And obviously there was, there was a lot more fish. Like we got into a big school of jacks and a bunch of ladyfish, a couple spots. We literally could have caught an absolute ton of fish where I didn't show all that, but uh, a really fun day. And, and those are conditions that years ago, I, I wouldn't even gone, right? I would have thought it's too cold. It's too windy. We had really low tides. That wind was so strong out of the Northeast. It was blowing all the water out so it was ultra low tides and literally i, I would not even bother I, I would have thought that the fish weren't feeding and, and the fact that you're here you're, you're probably curious and, and interested in in seeing the the pre-trip plan where we really you know talk through the science and, and the and the reasoning behind selecting the spots uh, that that was selected and if you are a community member a great news it's already available and i'll put a link down below for you uh for you to access it but but if you're not i uh, highly recommend joining our, our private fishing community because for anyone who, who is interested in, in just catching more you know redfish snook sea trout flounder more consistently there there is just no better platform uh, this is just something that i wish i would have had access to years ago and it's not just me right just look at this map you know we're obviously our team is providing uh, very detailed reports like this one where we do a pre-trip plan film it record it go fishing and then show what happens and talk about the pros and the cons but also now we have a community of over 5,000 members as of today who are also posting reports it's really all about anglers helping anglers it's really the largest network of anglers that that at least i have ever seen that are actually helping each other out and so now we have this map uh, that shows all the different posts from the members and so to find this report right this will be straight down to marco i haven't even pinned it yet but we'll be down the marco island just zoom in and you can go straight down to the details and obviously uh, this isn't about just showing a spot right because spots are spots you know spots are static fish move the core purpose on on all of these reports is to show you the latest and greatest trends it's all about recency right and so and so we really help you understand exactly where the fish are going to be based on the season based on the conditions and so the core benefit of this is to, to have a gauge on on the most recent trending information because it's not just our team that's providing these posts it's over 5,000 members and it's really impossible to not learn at least one really cool trick uh, from that many people because the great thing about fishing is that there's just so many different species to target so many different territories and every day is a new puzzle given the different conditions and it's just the great thing about fishing it is just a forever learning experience and this community is the the best i've ever seen of actually sharing helpful information that is actually real time so to learn more i'll put a link down below otherwise thank you so much for your time and watching this video i hope you can get out on the water soon and catch some big ones